Welcome back to my kitchen. There has been a box of a certain person's meal that has been sitting in my cabinet for a while and I'm hungry and I figured that I would give it a try and do something a little less traditional with it. Have you ever wondered what Larry the Cable Guy tasted like? Wait, have you ever wondered what Larry the Cable Guy's food tasted like? Well, you're in luck today. Cause I'm gonna let you know with this Larry the Cable Guy cheeseburger dinner. Th this this is insane. Someone who was here for a while had brought this into my house and then it just basically got pushed into Narnia and was never seen from or heard heard about again. I found it and I'm, I'm gonna make it. And of course I've already basically like opened this up but let me show you the contents. You're gonna love this. The contents of this box include one pouch of brown cocaine and then a bag of pasta now i'm doing this a very untraditional way which is kind of what i was saying earlier um it calls for ground beef but i'm gonna use tuna it, and a lot of you guys at home are just probably sitting there like oh oh my god you're gonna put tuna in it yeah i'm gonna put tuna in it guess what tuna is still good and i just don't feel like thawing out ground beef or anything right now so tuna is gonna work we have the pasta we have the tuna and we have what what does this package say jesus christ stand up stupid box beef seasoning well this is going to taste absolutely horrid whenever it comes to the tuna let's see what the instructions say it also says that i can have like mixed vegetables sour cream mushrooms and sprinkle with cheese i think the only thing i'm going to do with it is sprinkle some cheese on it because i feel like this is still going to be an abomination but you know we'll, we'll see we'll, we'll see what happens it says brown ground beef Well, that's not needed. Stir in hot water, milk, seasoning packet, and pasta. Okay, so, wait. Oh, I need a cup of milk and two cups of hot water. Okay, let's start with the hot water first. I'm gonna crank this up on high, cause might as well. Get this some nice hot water. All right, I think that that's two cups of w hot water, and it's gonna be boiling. I'm gonna screw this up. <laughs> it says stir in hot water, milk, seasoning packet, and pasta to the brown brown ground beef. But since we don't have that, I think I'm gonna at least try and get this like really hot and boiling because I also don't trust this water because it's sulfur water. And so I'm gonna boil all that crap out and then I'm just going to add the milk, seasoning packet, and pasta to it and hope for the best. This is gonna be gross. <laughs> Wait, hang on. I don't even have to do that. After it's done boiling, I could just add the pasta, and then whenever it's completely like done up in there, then I'll add everything. Genius. Genius right there. Here, let me get some of this water out. And now we play the waiting game. All right. The water got to a boil. Hooray. So, you know what that means? That means now we're going to add the pasta so let's go ahead and get oh my god oh my god how the hell do you open this bitch what kind of vacuum seal shit is this my god okay huh oh. dump all that in that is way more than two cups i know that now <laughs> i need this to start boiling a little bit again so let, let's go ahead and crank it back up go ahead and give it a good stir there obviously if anyone hasn't caught on by now like i do know how to actually cook this food it's just i'm doing it this way because i just didn't feel like getting like all the actual shit that it calls for and yeah it i i do know how to cook food i promise yeah that's right boil on in there get that pasta cooked we'll see how this goes i don't really know like this just looks so bad. Stir, stir, stir the nudes. All right, let's turn this bad boy down like a lot. Rinse that off just a tad. Boom, shaka, laka. Oh my God, a lot of steam. I think I did a little too much. No, I got rid of a lot of water. That was my bad. Got the milk. Get one cup of milk. All right, and then let's put this stupid seasoning packet in here. All right. Oh 
Oh my God, this thing is super vacuum sealed too. And of course, the piece de resistance. I'm gonna get the water out of it first though. I don't want just tuna water in my newts. All right. Ew, oh my God, that's, what is up with this tuna? It is super watery. God damn. All right, good enough. Ew, Jesus. I like tuna, but man, whenever it's like that, it's like, eh. All right, now let's stir all this in. I guess let's just get that on high. Oh God. I mean, I guess it smells okay. I mean, it doesn't smell terrible, but it just, it looks, it looks like slop. Come on, bitch, cook. There it goes. This is the boiling part, right? Heat to boiling, stir, stirring occasionally, reduce heat, cover, and simmer for about 10 minutes until pasta is tender, stirring occasionally. It's basically tender already. I did this backwards, so I'm sorry, Larry, but I'm, I'm doing it my way now. Oh God, it's burning. All right, that was almost bad, but I saved it. It's here, da. Here's the pasta. Now, time to taste test. It's the moment of truth. I've got my bowl right here. I added the cheese so that way I had a little bit of pizzazz on it because I, I felt like it was a very bland dish, but I think that the tuna is gonna come out well. At least I hope. <laughs> It tastes like Hamburger Helper gave up one day and let their little cousin take over the business and they wanted to put Larry the Cable Guy over the packaging instead. I mean, it's not bad. Maybe with ground beef, I would be able to tell like what is actually going on. I mean, it just, it tastes like Hamburger Helper, but with Larry the Cable Guy's face on it. I mean, it's literally just the, it, <sighs> however, I will say the tuna, I think, did great with it. I think the mixing of the tuna in here gave it a better flavor in my opinion. I don't always want to have hamburger helper. I like tuna. I, I, I like a lot of fish stuff. I would prefer to have fish over burger to be honest. I think that it gave it a little bit more and I think I'll just give this a 6 out of 10. It, it's just, it makes me sad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and I'm going to finish this meal and I'm going to watch Shameless as I do so and think about all of my life choices. Thank you for watching.